Hi, this is Sue Jackson of the Book by Book blog, here with another Friday Reads. First though, I want to remind you that one week from today, May 28th, will be the start of my, I think, ninth year of hosting the Big Book Summer Challenge, an annual reading challenge I host every year that runs from the end of May to early September. Now this challenge is super easy going, just like summer, so anyone is welcome to join. Um, the idea is that with the slower days of summer, you've got a little more time to tackle some of the big books that you might not usually have time for. So a big book here is defined as anything with 400 or more pages, and you only need to read one big book to participate in the challenge, but you can read as many as you want too. Um, I usually pick a stack of big books from my to-be-read shelves, which are overflowing, and um, that gives me plenty to choose from during the summer according to my mood. So here's a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, I always get a, more than I can possibly read, but then you may notice one of the books on the stack is Anna Karenina's, which I know is going to take probably a month to read. But I'm really looking forward to Big Book Summer, as I do every year, and I can't wait to tackle some of those books, and I hope you'll join the fun. Um, the official challenge page will go up a week from today, Friday, May 28th, on my blog. But um, in the meantime, if you want a little more idea what the challenge is all about, you can look at last year's Big Book Summer Challenge page on my blog, and I'll link to that below. Okay, so now on to Friday Reads. So with Big Book Summer just around the corner, I've been enjoying some shorter books. Um, I am currently reading Force of Nature, an Australian thriller by Jane Harper. This is part of her very popular series about Australian federal police agent Aaron Falk. Um, my husband and I are both enjoying this series. Um, the first book in the series, The Dry, was excellent. And so far, this one is too. So in Force of Nature, the setting is a wilderness backpacking trip. Um, it's a corporate retreat and a group of men and a group of women from the company um, each head off on Friday afternoon into the wilderness with backpacking equipment to spend the weekend out there. It's supposed to be like a team building exercise. Well, when Sunday comes around, the men return, but of the five women that went in, only four come back out. And they come back out very late and all battered up. Um, so there's one woman missing. And this sparks a huge search involving a lot of different um, agencies. So the reason why the, the federal agency and Aaron get called in is because Aaron and his partner, uh, I think her name's Cameron, have been working on a case trying to bring down this particular company um, for various crimes that the, the leaders of the company are committing. And Alice, the missing woman, happens to be their main informant in this case. And she's been giving them documents to help them build their case. So when she goes missing, you know, there's this whole question of, did she just get lost? Um, did something happen out there with the women that they're not saying? Um, or is there something more sinister going on? So, so far, um, it's really great, force of nature. I'm really enjoying it. Um, very fast paced. I love the wilderness setting. So that's a lot of fun. On audio, I've just started listening to Animal Dreams by Barbara Kingsolver, who is one of my all-time favorite authors. Um, her novel, The Poisonwood Bible, is one of my top 10 books of all time. I've read it twice and just loved it both times. And I also really love her 
set of novels, The Bean Trees and Pigs in Heaven. And this novel, Animal Dreams, has a similar kind of feel to it, to um, Bean Trees and Pigs in Heaven. The story is about twin sisters, Haley and Cody, who grow up in this small uh, rural town in Arizona with, um, with their father, who's the town doctor. So now it's decades later, Haley, it's in the 80s, so Haley has gone off to Nicaragua to help the farmers down there. And Cody's kind of at loose ends. A relationship just ended, she doesn't quite know what to do next. So she returns home. She's been hearing that her father has dementia and is really declining. Um, she hasn't been in touch with him, but she feels like she should go back and check on him. So she's staying with her best friend from high school. Um, and she is once again immersed in this place where she grew up that she hasn't been to in decades. And she's re-meeting all these people that she knew in high school. Um, it's just a really strange situation for her. So, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen next. I'm not very far in yet, um, but I'm loving it already. There's a lot of Native American uh, culture and traditions woven into the narrative. Um, Barbara Kingsolver herself reads the audiobook, which she usually does. Um, she's a wonderful narrator, and it's just great to hear her tell her own stories in her own voice. So that's Animal Dreams by Barbara Kingsolver. So that's what I'm reading right now, and what I'm looking forward to with Big Book Summer coming up. Um, what are you reading this weekend? please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you'll join the fun with Big Book Summer next week.